Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'll be testing and reviewing the extension Brico Plus. The link of Brico Plus Discord server will be linked in the description. So without further ado, hope you like it. Before we start the video, I'm going to explain how am I going to reveal the extension and all the features in 1.0.5, the latest version. First, see the features and test them, and rate. And after all of this, I'm rating the extension overall. The first feature I'm going to rate, I think is the most famous one between all of them. It is being able to put images on the forms and when sending messages. This one technically works, but only with certain links. And the links are CDN Discord, YouTube, and Raw Imager. Penguin said that more links are going to be added in 1.0.6. Overall, I think that this feature is really good, but the only problem is people with bad intention. Anyways, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. The second feature we're looking at is looking what people are wearing. This one works too, and the design fits really well with the website, as you can see by the video. And it is very useful in a way that you could copy someone. I mean, get items that you probably wouldn't find by looking through pages of inventory. I think this is one of the most useful ones from Brickle Plus, and probably the one that I most liked. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. This one is a feature where you can see the real life price of an item. There was a glitch once with it, but it works fine now. It is really useful if you want to check the real price of an item. I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. This feature is accept and decline offering request. This one is one of the most creative ones for me, because you can do the obvious, decline and accept all from requests you receive. At the moment, sadly this feature is broken, and will be fixed in the next update. This feature is really useful for people with high amounts of friend requests, so I'll give it a A out of 10. This feature is downloading item models. This feature works as you can see, and it's really useful if you want to rework ads. If I'm not wrong, I think worse for all items. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Form signatures. This one is a pretty self-explanatory one, and not that many people know how to do it. Just go to our settings and go scroll down and see the text box. And type anything you want. Now every thread or reply you make will have that. This one actually works. It's not that useful, but it's still a good thing to add. Anyways, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. This one is the conspiracy some form appearing on the form section. This one works and can be seen at the downwind form section with three question marks. It's not that useful, but it's still a good, good feature. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And the last one is profile badges appearing on the forums. This one can be seen lower someone's name, and you can see their badges. This one is really useful to distinguish normal players from admins since it's more easy to notice. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Honorable mention, manual body color change. This feature was requested between late January and was added to Brickle Plus in the update 1.0.5, which came out on the 30th of January. And at the midnight of 5th of February, the site went down for my new tents, and when it came back, the manual color change was added, making the Brickle Plus feature, let's say, useless. In my opinion, I think Brick Hill Plus has a lot of pretension, because it is out for less than a month and such cool features came out of it. Anyways, a feature from 1.0.6 that I'm excited with is the 3D item viewer. This feature may change Brick Hill. Anyways, I'll give the Brick Hill Plus extension a 9 out of 10. So guys, this was me reviewing the Brick Hill Plus extension. Hope you guys liked this video. Tell me in the comments what you thought of it. I'm Nick and goodbye.